that one. My goodness. I mean, that's such a big match as well for KC and uh, Gamers First because you get the feeling that those are the teams that are going to be fighting for. We're expecting BDS to be first, but those are the teams that are going to be up there fighting for and as well as uh, for championship contention. So you need to be able to at least get earlier stage of the season going your way against that kind of competition. As we're off the backboard again, a shot set. Only stopped by Eek, though. And then all, elsewhere, we've got um, Sonics, I believe, one game up on Williams Resolve. I think they forgot to update the overlay on their screen, though. Somebody better tell them to go do that. Uh, like video I, 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 I would understand that. this a lot more if it was Sonics that lost that game and they just didn't want to update it. Oh, no, they're uh, just, never, mind, no, never mind. They're just showing highlights. I think they're just showing highlights. I can't tell. I'm, uh, Trying to, trying to keep nah, there's no way. Stuff here, that, is, that is a live game. Uh, and Kade, uh, Kade up is going back to the old school here. Got the goal <laughs> off the infield pass. Classic. I mean, yeah, this is just... Everything still works, I feel like, has been the, the message. And as yeah. long as you can do the foundation... Foundational work really well, it's going to keep working out for you. You know, I... I, I... I'm just so impressed again and again by what Solary are doing here. Well, I don't think that Fairy Peak and Get Up were all that bothered by all of the chat about their failures at the end of their tenure at Rena Vitality, but they, it must have gotten to them a little bit. We're all human, and you know they're all here, and everybody in the Rock League community, the, you know, more casual fans and the hardcore fans alike, even uh, esteemed analysts in the scene, all saying that Alpha 54 deserves better teammates and. Uh, now here they are with Shostet, not uh, a young. It's not like they've been uh, carried here by, you know, like no disrespect to Shostet, but it's not. We've not got a Zen situation here where he's just come in and completely taken over and you know taking all the credit. They are playing this one out like a team. They all look like they know exactly what they want to be doing. They're all on the same page. They, uh, they're they're just proving that they might not have been the full problem. You know, there's three parts to every Rock League team, and now well, 54 teams not in this event. I tell you, not in this event. Um, very big and get up are, and they're taking it to a very respectable roster and quadrant once they've gotten in here, not just here to participate. You see one shot on net, but that's not going to really trouble shots there. And I, I do like the point that you bring up there as well, because you just got to look at how you have to play around certain players. And again, reiterating what you said about this is nothing against Alpha 54, but when you're playing with Alpha 54, you're trusting that you're going to have to rotate around him. Chaucet is maybe the exact opposite, about as close to the opposite as you can get over in Europe, and maybe allows mm. players like Fairy Peak, like Kadop, the most tenured players out there, to trust their first read. Yeah, I, I don't think it's the, the end for Alpha 54 Vitality at all. We're only one event in, so we don't want to jump to conclusions about that. No, I mean, this could good be event, of course. for both overall. Yeah, yeah. Like, we I, could I, be I three months into this, and both sides yeah. are like, great. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I think that, you know, they can bounce back, and we could see um, Alpha 54 and uh, Rodos and Sizen returning to form. They've definitely had a lot of chat about them in the pro scene being excellent in practice, so they can bring that to the next event. They could be... Um, a regional three participant, it could be a major participant yet, but you know, this is just really for me the the positive outlook for Very Peak just that and uh, K Dot. You know, they're far from done. They are here to um, to really take names. Oh, that could be another. another one. It is indeed just that makes it two, and it really hasn't been um, a, a dangerous game. You know, there are plenty of moments in the last game where they were up against it from Quadra, but it completely controlled them in this game number two. It's just impressive. It's very calm, very calculated Rocket League. And more importantly than anything else, it is working. If they get red, maybe in future tournaments, then there'll be some criticism coming their way. But for now, you are getting wins. And as you said, you are getting them without really being tested. This has been a convincing game so far. Still a minute to try and put that a little bit more into a question mark. Right now, Quadrant have had nothing because Solary do not think too much about getting to the other side of the field. It is a secondary purpose. Their first purpose is to keep it away from their net and keep it away from danger. They are happy for you to take another crack at it as long as this play is not the one that they're worried about and there's Ooh. the mistake. And Maybe it's the it big one. Be. You say 
that's not the oh. ideal play there. Bit of a bump on the ground. I think KDOT was trying to wave dash and get back to the ball, get a 50-50 at the absolute worst. But he's landed on Shaw set, and uh, that's killed all of his momentum and allowed Relating Wave to just get a free goal. You know, was that the best decision in the first place? I'm not sure if it was. You know, Kadop had an idea there, but it was a risky idea, an unnecessarily risky idea. He could have just played the ball on the back wall instead. I think that would have been the safer option. You know what? As a true Rocket League analyst, I never liked this play style. I always thought it was going to lead to mistakes. And sorry, <laughs> I can't believe you ever went for it. Still a decent position to be in, though. They've got the one goal lead. And doesn't really look like Quadrant have got that much in the way of inspiration and flair at the moment. Quite flat, at least in terms of what we have seen from these players in the past. Cash and Ixo just absolute highlight real players when you look at their careers that they've had up until this point, but not unable to produce that magic at the moment. Lightning Wave waiting in the middle, not going to have anything to play off. He's all the way back into the corner. Quadrant going to need a heroic zero second goal, and it just doesn't work out for them. Solary. 2 nil up in the series. This is the sort of team that I want to sort of keep track over their win conversion rate when they take the first goal versus how often they come back when they concede the first goal. Because I could imagine it being pretty difficult for them to try and drag themselves back into a game. Uh, but that's all stuff to find out in the future. For now, what I want to find out, Leaf, is what's happening elsewhere in the RLCS. Yeah, in all honesty, most of these matches are pretty close. Anybody that lost their first round is either winning the second game or tied right now. Uh, and that, uh, well, that did include G1 until a few seconds ago. Now they're down by a goal with 10 seconds left. But uh, Sonics is the only one that really looks like it's uh, going to potentially be a sweep. Uh, they're up 2-0 now over Williams Resolve. So yeah, Williams Resolve. Renick looks very happy about leg. this. So yes. <laughs> yeah. He they're is on the beaming. last leg. Um, but everyone else, yeah, looks like they're they're kind of back and forth right now. Um, again, Team Liquid lost the first game. They're up three one uh, right now. So a lot of back and forth in these uh, this fourth round. Well, are we going to Champions Field again, or are Slaughtery going to be able to close this one out? This is the big test right now for Quadrant, and not of their mechanics, not of their gameplay, but of their mental because. They now need to keep playing at a high level, knowing that Sonori aren't going to change much. They are against a brick wall that, very rarely, makes mistakes. Yeah, Solary have just been too consistent. They've been too solid. And uh, we need more out of this Quadrant roster. They just didn't really need to go for it. I don't think that they're going to win today by playing safe. It doesn't look like it anyway. They've got to just really go for this, just send it, see if it works out. I think we've tried a very tight angle reset double there. No, nope. able to get anywhere close, unfortunately, for him. That's how consistently um, Solary are playing. I think we do need to see the big mechanical plays. That's an advantage Quadrant have got, and that's a great pass, but Fairy Peak cuts it off. Maybe a bit too telegraphed there from Relating Wave. Yeah, that'll be the only downside if they do want to send it, is that's kind of what Solary wants. In more space to hit the ball long, more chance for you to have all three in their side of the field and for them to put the ball over the top of you. As Shostak is harassed, where's the follow? So a bit of a miscommunication there between Ixo and his teammate as to are they going to go off the backboard and wait for the rebound or are they going to try and go straight into the net off the air dribble? Ash this time goes low, can he outplay? No, not quite, Shostak too good on the back line. Now he's tasked to clear it, not the best first touch, but hey, everybody was already retreating into that blue side of the field. Very peak. Drops himself back down. There's, again, no commitment from Solary to something they do not feel is a high percentage. They are so, so happy just to drop back in their own side of the field. Yeah, it looks like we've got a very um, impressive series from Carmen Corp in the 2-1 round at the moment. If they can win against G1, they're qualified to playoffs. And they are doing that right now with a sweep. At least they're winning game three after already winning two games. Great stuff out of Carmine Carp. You know, it might end up being uh, a good move in the short term. Ixo, no. God, yeah, does manage to punch one through. It was k up on the goal line. The shot was just good enough. It wasn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect in that range. It's all about the power. k up did not have enough of a goal side position. Yeah, k ops just arrived a little bit too early there needs to be arriving on the scene as the shot is happening. Instead, 
got there, had to turn, realized that that car is not going to be able to generate the momentum he needs to get over to the ball. Now we do get to see Solari from that goal behind. How does this playstyle change up? Or do you just leave it to Fairy Peak for the ground pinches? Everything has power. It's never faint. It's never delicate. It's just raw power. It's working well enough, although demos also work pretty well. Possession retained here for Quadrant. He's relating away, waiting on the wall. Does get it. Has he got a second touch? No, he hasn't. Fairy Peak with Kadop downfield. These are the sort of plays that you're going to need Quadrant to start relying on. Holding onto that midfield, buying some time, getting players back into position, and then launching another attack. Is Kadop. I don't know if that was an actual attempt for the Musty, or if he just missed it, but here comes Chaucet. Delayed the uh -oh. shot. Has he caught him out? No, Fairy Peak doesn't jump. It was almost awkward. It looked like the defender really couldn't tell if that was hitting the post, if it was hitting the back wall, if it was maybe sneaking in off the post. Oh, what a pass that is. Very big. Giving it to Chaucet, and Chaucet should be doing better there. A pass of that quality deserves a shot of higher quality. Chaucet hit the bar in a position he couldn't follow up on. Now Kadops at the post in a position he can't follow up on. Will that be the big chance that Solary have in this game? They've been clinical up until now in this series. They haven't been creating a whole plethora of chances. Nah, it's just been get that one goal lead and then let the timer do the work for you as Fairy Peak. And come in from the correct side of that ball. Had to try and hook himself back around. Cash gets another save. Well, everyone wants to claim this ball. Nobody's quite got a good enough purchase on it. As now Kalop goes straight for net. Not too easy for Ixo to deal with. And those sort of positions are where the lack of creativity that we've seen from Solari is going to start catching them. They've been good at catching Quadrant out on the retreat, but once Quadrant have got the goal line covered, then things get that little bit more tricky, although Cash up against a bit of a difficult situation here. Ixo pops the ball up. He's got second contact. And that just dissuades Solari from diving Wait. on in. There's Cash. <laughs> now, there's no way. <laughs> Indeed, Cash just in a good enough position there to get back. Little one-two play from Shotset and Fairy goes nowhere. Time running out for Solari. Kadop going to pop the ball up high for Shotset, but eats those first to it. Will this be a game on the board for Quadrant? Yes, it will. They get one. So then they avoid elimination for now. They need two more. They're going to progress to the last round of the day. All right, Leaf. What's happening? Have we got any series finished or are we all still going on? No, I do believe I I was just looking at the Sonics one. Uh, the screen just closed off and they look happy. So if that's the case, then it would be a 3-0 <laughs> for them. Uh, uh, or maybe they're just excited that they'll win it in the next round. But uh, yeah, if you give me a few more seconds, about 30 oh, yeah, seconds, I, I, can tell you, out. I can tell you Carmine Court's going to win against G1 in 3-0. So they're up two goals right now with 20 seconds left. So uh, good chance... Uh, K Corp makes it through uh, on a nice day, showcasing they're one of the strongest rosters right now in this region, in this tournament. Um, especially again, G1 showing promise, but they just not getting a game off of them right now. I mean, it could take Struggle. some time. We don't know. It, it could take some Struggle. time. This could be one that we see go back and forth uh, moving forward. I am upset. Williams Resolve are out. They gave me a shirt, that so is, that's yeah. the reason why I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Easy bribes for Shogun, apparently. Mate, my, my standards could not be lower. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. And then uh, just a shout out to Team Liquid and EG. They're going back and forth right now. Same with uh, the Oxygen Monkeys match. That's a very close back and forth. So again, make sure you're over on the team stream supporting your favorite teams. So should we just go straight to Champions Field? Are we... Uh, Johnny, uh, are we convinced this is going to be Champions Field? It has I to be, surely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate that. You know, a big best of one Swiss format. Um, <laughs> sounds pretty exciting to me. I'm not sure the players would be too on board with that one. But No, I've seen your best of one tournaments. <laughs> at, you know, at the end of the day, who cares what the players think? Let's just do it. I reckon that's a great line of thinking. Um, you, would, if, All right, here's the question for you. RLCS, best of one. Would you want that on Manfield Knight or Champions Field? I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit biased there. As, oh, hold on a second. Oh, okay. Ixo has popped off. We were asking for this earlier. Can Cash and Ixo? Oh, I wave as well, but I mean, mainly Cash and Ixo are the two on this team that you need the big mechanical plays for. Can they start making it? Well, there's one. Ixo flicks it over two to open the scoring. 
No, in answer to your previous question, I would have it on Manfield, Manfield Knight, but I am biased as I'm a Manfield Knight main. Um, but Champions Field is, of course, the RLCS equivalent of Manfield Knight, um, of what, what Manfield Knight is to me. So I guess it's going to be there. Well, we'll get to see Champions Field potentially in four more minutes. Solary again have to try and find a way back from that one goal deficit. I've sort of struggled to create opportunities, and that's not really been a massive problem because they typically only needed one. They're now against a team that doesn't need to press forward. And this catch yeah. just takes the time. They, they have looked good counter-attacking Solary. They've waited for... Oh the my chances. goodness, Oh, that's head. not the bounce that they're looking for. The absolute nightmare bounce if you're the attacking team into the ground and then I have a question. The next to the next to the crossbar when it gets when it hits the crossbar like that has anybody ever scored because I feel like I've never scored in that position I don't think I've ever seen anybody score from that position when you just jump and hope that you're going to hit the ball when it hits the crossbar yeah I, well it, you know the the jump there is anticipating uh the ball hitting the crossbar bouncing into the ground and then coming back up into the crossbar again so it, it is rare it needs to be a very precise uh bounce for that to happen but uh, yeah, a more common thing is hitting the crossbar, bouncing into the ground, and then just hugging the wall, which is impossible to score from, essentially. Very, very tight, tight angle shot needed uh, from that position. Cash taking his time up the wall. That is a, such an early read, though, from Shoss there. Way up on the ceiling. And as we have three minutes left over here, Fairy Peak takes his time yet again. Gets oh, past two. This is a good chance for Sodori to break away. Wasn't quite taken, and it is still Quadrant on the attack. Is that going to be the infield? No, instead, back four, double tap attempted. Not quite on target. Still Quadrant holding all the cards. And you wonder what it's going to look like for Solary to just send everybody. We didn't really get to see that until the last game. Um, I don't think it's really part of their game plan. I, I, I think they know their strengths as a roster, um, and they're trying to play to those strengths. If they are going to stick to that game plan, it will make it a bit harder to come back, but they've done it early here. Shostet finds a way through. That is a very welcome goal. Great shot. And uh, Kadok managing to force Relating Wave out of position in the net at the exact same time. That's great to see from Solari. Forcing the issue, not just waiting for a mistake. They've made the play themselves. Yeah, just playing the ball and then continuing to move onwards. You don't need to just immediately scramble back, although you can see now with the game being 1-1, one, one, why they might want to try and focus back on doing that again. As the Wave passes to Cash. Off the ceiling, Cash actually might be able to keep this one going. It was shot set by himself. Happy to see sort of a whiffed touch. Already much on it. Paid off. Up to the backboard. Good challenge, Meek. So straight over to Cash. Just set B. Cash. Eats himself. Get up. Over off the backboard. And again, it's just waiting for the chance here for Solary. Relating wave. No further. Every challenge so strong. It's just next man up here. If you're quadrant. Although that's a bit wasteful for Meek, though. Maybe could have done with letting that one dribble back to his own corner. One minute left. Sorry, still have not sent everybody. Cash the oh, oh, oh. scores! Deception wins the goal for Quadrant. It's Cash faking um, a controlling play there. Chausset actually turned to challenge him, thinking he's going to bring the ball down, but he managed to clip it as it bounces and launch it into the roof of the net. That's such a difficult shot to pull off, so that's off to Cash. He manages to hit that big mechy play that we're waiting on. It's not the most obviously mechanical play like a foot reset would be, but it works out just as well. And then Kadox redirect crunches the post. There's time running out for Solary once again. And they've got to come back from behind once again. Yeah, it's time for the full send. Just over 30 seconds. Fairy Peak and Kadox. Well, they have uh -oh. full send. Double the commit, double the chance. Oh. Maybe doubling up their scoreline. Not going to happen this time around. But Solary, the gloves are off now. I understand everything. We have almost come back there off the back of a mistake. We've been 
crediting them for their communication working out so well today. They double committed and almost scored off the back of it, but now they've just got 10 seconds left. And it's actually Quadrant who are knocking on the door once again, but now time for Fairy Peak to control the ball. He's gonna fly and try and bump the man in front of him. Cash dodges that, stays active, and oh ducks in a winner, 3-1. Well, Solari just couldn't get it going in the closing seconds. And at the end of it all, it is a fairly comfortable win for Quadrant, where it going into game five. Well, you asked for it, Shogun, and you've got what you asked for. Well, it was uh, maybe the easiest prediction of my entire life. Speaking of which, that was full checkmate for that final goal. Cash fully aware, you have to keep this ball up, and I'm going to go to that one position where you can keep that ball up. Leaf. We're going to Champions yeah. Field over here. How is everyone uh -huh. else looking? Are they going to Champions Field as well? Uh, potentially for uh, EG and TL. They're a little bit behind. We're ahead of them right now. Uh, Tundra is uh, currently winning 2-1 with 50 seconds left, and they're on 2-1 in the series. So they might actually take down uh, Algiri um, to, to qualify through, and uh, which it's, honestly is catching me off guard because just the way they were playing, I figured they might have actually been one of the teams to pull through either in round three or in round four here. But uh, the TLEG one is the one I'm kind of keeping an eye on most because the last that they played each other three times in the in spring of last season uh, and it always went TL's favor. Uh, but right now, EG's up 2-1 in the series. That's, so that's they might... crazy, wow. I mean, yeah. Team Liquid were one of the teams everybody's talking about as just a shoo-in to get top eight. You know, there's four or five teams <laughs> that we just know are going to be top eight and we're speculating what the others will be. But that's an elimination round. If they lose to EG, they are out. And they're out uh -huh. before round five as well. So absolute disaster currently happening for Team Liquid as they, again, struggle to just get the consistency early stages in the tournament. I mean, there was a, a lot of people asking. Sorry, Leaf. Uh, I'll let you go on there. <laughs> I'm about to derail us massively. I was just going to give you an update. Oxygen Monkeys, fun game, close. It's been one goal games, overtimes, all that kind of stuff, too. So keep an eye on all the streams. Yeah, to your, to your point there, Johnny. Liquid were a team that did so well in their first split that people were wondering, like, how on earth can we not find a way to get a team like this to world? And if they then start this series or season without a good result, that's kind of a, a blanket reset on all of the expectations for them. You know, they've, they've had a difficult run though. You know, they've they've got Carmine Corp round two. They lost that. Uh, it was 3-0 for Carmine Corp. They got Oxygen round three. They lost that 3-0 as well. It's the fact that they're not picking up games uh, in any of these series is giving them such tough draws. Uh, you know, the matchups are determined not only by series score, but also by game score. The teams with the best game scores um, across all the series played. We'll be playing against the teams with the worst game scores across all the uh, series played. Um, of course, every round, every, uh, you, you play against somebody with the same what a shot. Um, series score as you across all series played. That's the problem for Liquid is they're just not getting anything. They're, get, they're just consistently being swept here. And I mean, even I now, they're going to be fans could be pretty happy uh, because if Liquid do make it through, and since they have taken these uh, these zero three matches, we might get them with the worst game differential of the uh, the three two teams up against Moist, who had the best differential of the three and zero teams. So maybe a soggy showdown tomorrow. Well, uh, that's if, a big if. if they're that, yeah, if they can make it through. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, they got to get, get them. First of all. But, let me be the positive one for a change. Also, enough of this soggy showdown. We all know the real name for Liquid vs. Moist is El Splashico, and I'll have, I'll take I no arguments that on that at all. You know what? No, that, that stays. I completely forgot about El Splashico. Yeah, there was Liquid. a lot of names flown about me. <laughs> there, were, there were a lot of suggestions. They, they can't be thinking that far ahead. Yeah, they, they need to beat EG, and EG uh, went 3-0. So, you know, Liquid today, they've played against both the teams that went 3-0 in the Invitational Qualifier. And they've also played against Carbon Corp, so it's a tough draw, but so is every draw in Europe, essentially. Every team here is so tough to go up against. And uh, even right now, we're, we're, we're seeing two teams who look like they're more than capable of being a top eight team. And they're up against each other in the one two round. One of these teams eliminated after this game is done. That's the backboard. This is a good position, at least for now, for Solar 8. Not a team that have done the best job when trying to find a way back into a game, but. My goodness, can they hold on to a lead? The last few game fives that we've had have been incredibly tense affairs. Are we going to get another one? Kadop holding on to the midfield. Ixo now lines up his opportunity. He's gone. His boost is gone. His car is gone. His hope is gone. But thankfully for him, the ball is also gone from his side of the field. 
Now a chance. Ixo against Kato. Oh, that was big. Ixo had to win that. Yeah, Kato trying to be a bit sneaky there. He was hoping that Ixo uh, would lunge and block the high flick. Ixo managed to read exactly what Kato was up to there with the low 50-50 attempt. Just a drive challenge. No, no flip there from Kato at all. It's a very, very uh, risky play at times, but he managed to do it at a good enough angle that Ixo's dunk didn't really impact the Solari in a negative way. Power shot. Quadrant being a lot more deep with their rotation at the moment. They are making sure that somebody's always covering the net, especially from the first two games where they were conceding those cross-map goals. This feels like a necessary change to make. Oh. <laughs> Off the post and not a single bead of sweat from those over on Solari. It's a great touch by Cash. Follow-up should be there, but still shot set. Shot is on target. Fairy B can't get there. Relaying wave. Opens the scoring with just over a minute left. Oh, well, look at where Fairy Peak's positioning was. He pops out off the wall and then tries to get himself back around. So, oh. just try to play. Yeah, if the ball bounces in a position where he can then run onto challenge, then you want him to be there. It's just yeah. a slight misread. I mean, that, that's what he's trying to do. He doesn't have any boost there, so he's trying to close the gap. He wants to pressure the ball and close down the shot, make himself as big as he can, but... He just didn't have enough uh, time to get there. The ball's running away from him. He's got no momentum. And uh, he realized too late that he's actually going to be on the goal line. Suddenly, the reverse sweep looks like the most likely outcome. Very curious how many of those we've had. We've had a lot of game fives today. I don't know how many reverse sweeps we've had. As just set. Got very close. Fairy peak. Lofts it to the far corner. And now with 40 seconds. Time running out here for Sodori. They've been in this position every single time for the last three games. They have not managed to turn it around in any of them. Do get striking. relating wave. Yeah, we're striking from, from Solari in these games. And at the other end oh, of the field, oh, oh, we oh, have oh. Quadrant <laughs> looking threatening. I mean, they are the more tricky team. I think they've got more offensive options, but that's no surprise to see them continually knocking on the door. But Where's the clinical shooting we saw earlier on from Solari? They hit the bar several times this game in the last, and now they only have a few seconds to work with. All right, in fields, and everybody went, but it's not enough. Reverse sweep, the second on the day. Quadrant are moving on. And not only are Quadrant moving on, Oxygen got a victory over Monkeys. So they'll uh, they'll find themselves qualified qualified through as well. But uh, I uh, I want to talk about that uh, TLEG one. Uh, they went to game five now. TL did get a dub back, and then we have Tundra uh, Algiri in game five currently right now with a one goal lead, one twenty left on the clock for Tundra. My uh, my.